June 19th out here at the South Yard. And the damn bees flew away there yesterday that you guys saw. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is now that this hive has settled down a little bit, um, I'm gonna go through them and just kind of see what I'm dealing with. But uh, before that, I wanted to, um, what in the world? Oh, I thought I saw a big old ball of bees hanging in a tree over there. Um, before I do that, I wanted to just go through um, kind of, I'm not gonna film all my work today, but wanted to show you. So um, after Formic was on, and I've had people talk to me, uh, guys who um, know me locally, watch the videos, um, but also have my number, so they'll give me a call. Um, and I've had, had you guys call me, a couple of you guys call me and say, Tim, uh, what's your experience with running Formic and how hard is it on your queen? So I have lost a queen every now and again. I talked to you before about having fragile queens when you run that stuff. A fragile queen is either a really young queen or a really old queen. That's just my interpretation of it. Um, so St. Mary's Split Hive, she is a two-year-old queen. After running Formic, ran through there yesterday, found her laying Colossus went through there yesterday, did not see her, but there's eggs in there. I took the formic off a week ago or over a week ago. And so if there's eggs in there, she's in there laying, no supersedure cells. I didn't go the clear down into the bottom box. She's that bee's in there somewhere, that queen is. I didn't put formic on here. You know what? There was a damn mouse in there that I found. That's the uh plum tree swarm. I put the plum tree swarm in there. Uh, they're fine. Uh, that queen is laying incredible corner to corner. So, uh, Nordman swarm. Saw her yesterday. Plenty of room. Putting up honey. No issue. Um, the wild hive. Didn't see the queen. Saw eggs. Um, she's a new queen. Laying eggs like crazy. No issue. We're going to... I didn't treat them because that's a young queen. Um, just rifled through there real quick. They got a ton of room, um, nice young colony, and so just left them. And so we're gonna go through this hive that swarmed real quick. What I think that I'm going to do is because let's, let's listen to this real quick. That hive just swarmed. So there's no laying queen right now. And even if that queen starts laying, let's say in a week, right? We find a new queen in there. She's still gotta go out and get mated. She's still gotta come back. 21 days, right, for worker brood. So that's a break right there. Number one, good break for Varroa. Uh, number two, your colony is getting smaller because you don't have a laying queen in there. I know that the St. Mary split hive, those three uh, mediums right here, the damn queen is up in there laying. And so let's see how much honey they have. Okay, we're gonna see how much honey the swarm hive had in those mediums that are up top, and maybe we just switch them. We chase the queen up out of here, right? You switch brood around, that ain't gonna matter. So we take that brood that we know is in there, and we add it over there so that there's extra bees to boost the colony, right? You got it? So that's kind of my plan but I have to go through there first to see what's in there. Once I do that, probably chase this queen out here uh, if she's still up top, and then brought an extra bunch of drawn comb for them to put on. Okay, so I'm gonna put extra drawn comb on to the St. Mary's split hive that I'm stealing one of the boxes from, and a queen excluder, because I'm done with her laying up there. That has to be honey not eggs. So let's get into it. All right, so here we go, popping the lid. Lid is off. And we're going to see what we have in this hive. Maybe it was fuller than I thought it was. reeks of brood in here so probably a little bit of brood you can see these bees here probably a little bit of brood here i'm going to pull these frames and let you guys see what i'm working on 
So I got the uh, three on the side out, all honey. It's just all nectar. I don't know if you guys can see the shiny sheen in there. It's just all nectar going in. Same with that, they're already starting to cap the top. So that's good. Next box. One thing I did do that I didn't tell you guys I was gonna do was all of the honey was in the middle. The outsides were empty. I rotated it. All the honey's now on the outside. The empties are in the middle. It is drawn comb because I want them filling the whole box evenly. And so I just rotated everything. All right, let's get into the second one. Okay, again, second verse, same as the first, just honey. All they're doing is working honey. And you can see the amount of room and the amount of space they have, right? I mean, no reason for them to swarm. Ton of room in here, ton of bees in here. Or there was no brood, all honey, but empty, empty honey. Like there's just honey frames that are, aren't even full yet. They're working some in the middle here, but not bad. So let's get down to the next box. I'll rotate these ones out a little bit as well. Third box looks a little fuller, right? So maybe what we do is we rotate some boxes because if there's not a queen in here laying right now then they're going to make they're going to turn all these boxes into honey supers which is great so a uh, little little fuller here let's see what we can find lots of drones as you would think that there would be on honey frames especially right down next to the brood nest so just lots of drones hanging out I'm three frames in from the side. Now I'm gonna really start looking through stuff. So there's our big ass hatched queen cell, right? See the worker up in there, cleaning it out. That's a dandy of a queen cell, that thing is huge. So we know we have a new queen in here somewhere. She did hatch, that's why the other colony, took, the rest of the colony took off. So I'm looking for her now, is what I'm gonna do. Another big ass queen cell. Still capped, right there. Almost second to the last frame in on the box. So what I'm gonna do is I won't kill this cell until I find the, frame, until I find the queen. Once I know that I've found the queen, located her, uh, all the other cells will be eradicated. I'll just cut them out. Look through this whole box. This is the one I was just looking through where that big old capped queen cell is. It's on this frame right here. Uh, didn't find the queen, which means all I gotta do is go through here and see what I can find. Uh, a lot of bees in here still. So um, obviously my mistake, it must have been uh, for letting them swarm. I thought I gave them enough room, apparently not. So two outsides, that one. Is all honey and this is what the other one looks like that they're turning into all honey did not see the new queen on there gonna keep just piecing through them from left to right um, but that's one thing I don't understand is how guys can only one run one single brood box because single brood box three mediums and they still swarm I don't know how these guys do it where they're not just losing swarms all the losing bees all the time running single boxes but whatever we'll keep going so there is another open queen cell right there big one plus uh there's that frame right down there in the box i'm just moving everything sideways right now um i found three other just gigantic i mean like the size of your pinky finger uh length of your pinky finger queen cells still no queen but that's two open cells now. We'll keep going. Maybe she's out on mating flight. I just went through every single frame twice. Taking them out, looking, putting them back in, looking. I didn't find a queen, keeping all the boxes separate so she couldn't climb around because the little virgins are fast. They'll run around the box. I found no queen anywhere in here so we'll give it a week and let it play out just let 
the bees be bees and do their thing, I guess. Uh, see what happens. So um, I am rotating the boxes. There's still some brood in there that I'm putting up top because these are primarily empty. But with this decent workforce, I might as well let them fill with honey right now or move some honey around. So uh, no, no queen, no nothing. Um, still on the fence about whether I want to swap boxes or not. Um, I might, I might not. I might just put a queen excluder on them and call them good. But uh, obviously, virgin queen, queen excluder isn't going to help with this colony. So um, that's what I have. Uh, I'm just going to button everybody back up and check in a week. See what happens. Maybe she's out on mating flight already. Who knows? So putting all the boxes back together. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. This is St. Mary's Split Hive, huge. I mean, look at the size of this colony. It's massive, massive, just massive, full of bees. Problem is, we got brood up in the supers. So, I found the queen. She's on that frame right here. I'm putting her down in the lower boxes so that this brood can hatch, plus adding an extra box and a queen excluder because I'm over these guys, I'm over her laying up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just grab this frame and run her down into this lower box. So, let's see. Okay. And they're just such chill bees, man. They're super laid back. So she's right here. You guys should be able to see her. She's right here. Blue dot. See her right there? I'll point to her. She's right here. She's climbing away. Right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I know that Jim from Vino is watching this right now and it's making him crazy because I don't use a tripod. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, and I don't want to grab her, but I am just going to push her down here with my hive tool. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just clear down at the bottom and then I'm just going to... There, I just pushed her right down in and she just crawled right down into those frames. That's all I did. So now I can put these frames back. Queen excluder will go on and uh, we'll start building up honey on these guys instead of them just, her just laying the hell out of this thing up here. Because these are empty frames, these are drawn frames. She's just, just not using them. She wants to be up top and I'm done with that. So. Um, I'm going to uh, turn this off and put this box back together and we're done. Now that is a hell of a stack. We'll see how well my construction skills are on my stand here. Should be okay. Pretty heavy duty. Um, but boy. The lindens are just now opening up and that's gonna be great because there's going to be a ton of honey coming in here. So hopefully they use the damn thing. It's a huge colony. They should, they should just be working it like crazy. So anyway, uh, that is what I have. My work at the South Yard is done for the day. Uh, that's what I have. So I'm gonna go run up to the North Yard because again, I wanted to check my hives after putting the Formic on and i haven't gotten through everybody yet i still have um the russians the saskatraz the a uh, couple other ones up there um the old world carnies i think that's it uh to look through um to make sure everybody's queen right everybody else here is you just saw um the saint mary's split queen uh, all the other colonies are queen right after using that formic, so 
good to see. All right, you guys, out here. Tim, Post Falls Honey Company. I'll do a follow-up in a week on these guys. Um, that is the swarm colony. The, the original colony was the Liberty Hive. So I'll do a video on them uh, in the next little while to see if maybe I, that queen was out on mating flight. So see what happens. Post Falls Honey Company. Be good to each other.